we talk in chapter four about, we go into detail about the word shuv, or in English, repent. I've learned there are some hidden meanings to that word, perhaps more than we thought it did. It tends to come across as implying someone is sorry for something, which is, okay, you can start there. I mean, it's, <clears throat> it comes down to something of that sort, but in a Jewish sense, it's a way deeper element of... It's a psychological change. It's a long-term investment. It's a... I go deep in thinking about where am I coming from and where am I trying to go to and who am I and, and what am I trying to do and if I have any hope of getting this right. I need at least, at the absolute minimum, I need two things. I need Torah and then I need the Spirit who's willing to enlighten me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because one without the other is not quite going to get you as far as you think it's going to get you. <clears throat> In Jewish culture, we have things like the minyan and the baitin. What is that? That's, that's the human element which suggests I can't do this alone. And yes. I might not always be a good judge of my own character on my own. So I need witnesses outside of myself, and the Spirit is one of those witnesses. Torah is one of those witnesses. It's a lifestyle. It's not a once-off event. It's not a thing that I do once and move on. I, I just see it as a daily event, actively. I start every day with that in mind, literally, effectively doing the, the how would I say, the equivalent of the sinner's prayer daily, yeah. which can <clears throat> look like, oh, don't you think you have security in Jesus? No, I'm, no, I've got security in Jesus. But I also know I'm not living outside of a sinful body yet. I'm not, I don't have Torah fully embedded in me. The same content that was on the stones is going to be written on hearts. The content doesn't yeah. change. The medium that it's received on is what changes. Yeah. And it, that's like when, when uh, we, we mentioned this in chapter four, I said, Jesus stands up and says, you have heard that it was said, you shall not murder. But I tell you that whoever is angry with his brother in his heart and is already guilty of murder, but that doesn't mean that the physical act of murdering someone is now okay and the only thing that's wrong is that you hate them in your heart. Both are wrong and both are intolerable right. according to Judaism right. and Christianity. Right. <laughs> right. So it's not like it's not like he was doing away with what was written on stone and then writing this onto your heart so that Let's now get... you can go you can go ahead and kill whoever you want to as long as you don't hate them. That's right. absurd. 